Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Photoshop has not enough RAM or memory error you're experiencing on your computer. A specific notification would say could not complete your request because there is not enough memory. And then in parentheses it says RAM. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just would go ahead and select the file tab and then export. File name, I would normally recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. And make sure export range is selected to all. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import and then navigate to set file location. So again, very straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the, the HK current user folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing now for Adobe. Double click on Adobe. Should be a Photoshop folder. Double click on that. And then finally there should be a number under here. This number will change depending on what version of Photoshop you are using. So don't be surprised if it's not 130, it might be something else. And please take note as well on the top of the screen here, you can see each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So if you need to pause the video and catch up, you can. Otherwise now, once we've located this number underneath the Photoshop folder, you want to go right click on this numbered folder, select new, and then select the DWORD 32-bit value. Now you want to name this value, and it's very important you type it in exactly how you see it on my screen. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it more clearly. But this value is going to be called override. The O in override is capitalized. And then physical, memory, MB. Again, the first letter of each word is capitalized, and the MB, both letters are capitalized here. So again, override, physical, memory, MB. And there's two R's, so override. Again, don't just type one R in there. Um, I know some people might spell like with one R for some reason. Again, that's just going back to what I said about how spelling is very important. Uh, and hit enter on your keyboard. Once you have that, double click on it. For the value data, you can change this to whatever you want. I would caution you not to, to let it go too high. So just keep in mind this is in megabytes, so if your computer is 4 gigabytes, the maximum it could theoretically go up to is 4096. So you could type that in there. However, I would probably not recommend doing that. I would probably go at least maybe half or 60% of your total RAM. So you could just use a calculator and multiply whatever your RAM size is times 1024. And then you can multiply that by 0.5 or 0.6. And that should give you a rough number of what you would type in there. It's not an exact science, I would say. And you would multiply, if you had 8 gigabytes, you multiply that by 1024. Same thing for 16 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes or 36 gigabytes. So you guys really have to customize what works for you and your system. And once you've typed that in, so let's just say we're going to give it one gigabyte here. This computer system only has one gigabyte of RAM on it, so I'm already pushing the limits, but most of you guys are probably going to be four to eight times this, probably. And anyway, before you do anything else, base should be decimal. So you probably actually want to do that first. So type decimal, select that, and then in the value data field, type in whatever the number is you want to go with here. So again, base decimal, then type whatever value in this field. Like I said, you'd multiply it out, figure out what you can do, and then select OK. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and just close out of the registry. And if you notice that your system is really slowing down and Photoshop's taking up too much RAM, you can always adjust that number. It's fluid enough that you can go back in the registry editor once you've closed out of Photoshop and make an adjustment as you see fit. It might require a little bit of fine tuning to be completely frank. So a pretty straightforward process, like I said. Do advise it to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.